Welcome to Recording School Online Videos. Well, have you ever wanted to just change the way Cubase looks? Well, I have since, been, since I've been using it, all the way back to Cubase SX. Well, you haven't really had a whole lot of control over it in the past. Well, I've got a copy of 6.5 here, and we can change it quite a bit. In order to do that, go over to your file and left click, go down to preferences. Click on that. Look at this. This is beautiful. Under appearances, we have a number of settings. First is general. We can actually change how Cubase looks in terms of its color and lightness. And that can be quite dramatic. So the first thing we'll do is go down to Color Tone. Notice what happens up here. When I move to the left or right, yeah, that's right. Finally, we can change the color of Cubase to our liking. Color Intensity will make it even more colorful or less so, changing the saturation of the color. Color Lightness now allows you to Set up Cubase to match the parameters of your monitor so that you can see it much more clearly. You can also control the brightness of these buttons separately, as you can see. And something that I quite like is the ability to have separate colors per fader so you can very quickly see them. Now we can't change the color of the faders, but we can change whether they're all white or colored and how much they are colored. Pretty neat, eh? Now, another feature we have is the ability to change the meters. And these are the faders that you see on your individual tracks, which show you the levels and volumes of the instrumentation. We can actually change the color and not only the color, but the level, the levels, the colors change between low level volumes and high level volumes. If we left click on this, we can change the low level volume color any way we want. And the high level volume any way we want. Pretty cool. Now, another important feature here is we can actually change where they meet. In other words, if we want to have that mix very subtly between the two color variations or more pronounced, such as this. Also, if you want to have your lower levels more set with this particular color, we can do that. Whereas the higher levels will be up here. Now, once you've done all these changes to your liking, click Apply and OK. The next time you load Cubase, you'll see all the changes that you've just made. Thank you and check out all our videos at Recording School Online.